When a dean apple is introduced at the Earth's surface, it begins to migrate into the soil. As it migrates, dean apple vaporizes into the Vado zone while continuing its downward migration to and below the water table. Dean apple dissolves into the groundwater that flows around it and absorbs to soil and rock. When dean apple encounters a lower hydraulic conductivity layer, it pools, diffuses into the layer, and flows laterally atop the layer, then migrates downward again after reaching the edge of the layer. Dissolved dean apple migrates with groundwater flow and can impact water wells. When dean apple encounters fractured bedrock, it migrates into the fractures and diffuses into the rock matrix. When the source of dean apple stops, dean apple in the subsurface continues to vaporize, flow, and dissolve, leaving residual dean apple. With time, residual dean apple vaporizes and dissolves. Eventually, the vaporized and dissolved concentrations decline, and dean apple diffuses back out of the low hydraulic conductivity materials and desorbs from solids. The dissipation process is very slow and may take centuries. After a long time, all of the dean apple is purged from the system.